Cyberbullying is one of the concerns among youths in the Thai society, and it can be difficult for some children experiencing cyberbullying to find relief. Our very own Kuntola Pansanarula had an opportunity to speak with Minister of Digital Economy and Society, Dr. Pichet Dudongkwe Rod, on how the government is dealing with the matter. Let's take a look. Thank you very much, Minister, for joining us today. As we go through digital transformation, there are challenges and there are opportunities. But the challenges that we find today is that a lot of youngsters are staying too much connected to the Internet, and that brings about problems like cyberbullying. How has the Ministry assessed the situation, and what are their preventive strategies? Thank you. Uh, this, this is uh, uh, an issue which is uh, pretty much a uh, social issue. Uh, in the meantime, we must recognize the fact that uh, to stay connected, there are a lot of good things going on. There are a lot of development, uh, there are a lot of creativity uh, transfer in the network. However, uh, in each and every society must also be alert the fact that there are some side effects and cyberbullying is one of them. Uh, in fact, uh, I, th I think uh, it has already been going on without cyber even in That's the true. physical world, okay? But in cyber, we also recognize that it can happen anywhere, anytime. Uh, so uh, to, to tackle the problem, I think uh, there are a number of things to be done. Uh, first of all, it has to be the work uh, of all parties, not just one uh, agency, uh, both public, private, and, uh, uh, and uh, autonomous uh, agencies, even the community level. Secondly, uh, it's, it's sort of a new issue, relatively. Uh, so uh, awareness program, uh, uh, training uh, must, must, must be spread uh, throughout uh, the society to make known that it exists and accept it as a fact of life, mm -hmm. uh, but, but, uh, but try to find ways in order to lessen the negative impact. And thirdly, uh, get the uh, uh, agencies or people concerned uh, to come together and uh, find ways to uh, help uh, set up uh, standard operating procedures uh, so that uh, there are windows that uh, those affected can go to and uh, be, be, be relatively easy for them to, f to seek assistance and help. So this is what it's all about. Uh, but uh, I, I, I would say that at this point we don't see severe cases yet. However, we don't want it to happen, and that's why we are uh, uh, trying to kick off this campaign, not by the ministry alone, but uh, with our private sector partner, as well as other ministries, uh, as well as the uh, non-government uh, agencies. Like in the move today, uh, you have collaborated with Total Access Communication, or DTAC. So what kind of approaches will we be seeing from mm -hmm. the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society? At the moment, uh, DTAC, uh, together with the Ministry, as well as uh, uh, many other agencies, are already piloting on, uh, on a number of schools, 50, I believe, and uh, with uh, programs such as to uh, provide uh, information and knowledge, uh, not only to students, but also to teachers and parents. Uh, secondly, to provide uh, a helpline uh, uh, so that uh, students that are adversely affected uh, can, can seek uh, 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 assistance anonymously. Mm -hmm. okay? at, at the time frame that they think it will happen quite frequently, and that is 4 p.m. to like 9 or 10 p.m. You know, that's like prime well, time for the kids. I, I know, that, 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 that's right. And uh, uh, as for the ministry, we, we want to see more work being done in this area. Uh, so we will uh, get all uh, concerned parties to work together on uh, putting in uh, appropriate curriculum for the school system. What kind of curriculum are we talking about? Uh, well, it, it, it can be... Uh, uh, quite tricky. If you, if you put in curriculum and call it cyberbullying, mm -hmm. maybe it's not going to be well received because it has it, it's a negative uh, uh, connotation, right? Uh, but on the other hand, in, in, if you can uh, add it uh, or insert 
in the, in the existing uh, curriculum such as uh, computer science uh, or learning how to use uh, digital equipment, you know, this is the soft side, okay? So bit by bit, they will absorb it at the school children level. Uh, but more importantly, you have to get the teachers on board first so that they understand the issue and help to deliver uh, to students. If, uh, and the best way is to uh, give teachers uh, examples of what happened. Uh, otherwise, to read from the text it can be quite meaningless. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now, with the online program under the Pracharat approach, I believe that Internet will be uh, widely accessed by all. So would you update us on the situation, please? Because with internet being uh, readily available, that, if not used carefully, would bring up more problems. Uh, today, uh, on the infrastructure issue, uh, we have connected to uh, about 75% of all villages in Thailand. So uh, this year, the Ministry of digital as well as the NBTC, the, the uh, National Broadcasting and Telecommunication Communication Commission, will work together in order to, uh, to handle the rest, the rest 25%. So connectivity will be done. Uh, and at the same time, we are cooperating with the Ministry of Education to find ways uh, uh, so that all schools in Thailand, over 30,000 schools, will be uh, connected mm -hmm. to internet. Uh, now, uh, the opportunity is this. Uh, if schools can be connected, then in parallel, we can also design such thing like uh, white internet. White internet? White internet. What is that? Internet, internet that, that is not gloomy, internet that is not gray, mm -hmm. internet that is not black, in terms of substance, in so terms of content. Clean and safe. Quite clean, quite safe. Of, of course, you cannot make it 100% clean and safe, but do it uh, from, from the beginning so that uh, students and youngsters would not be exposed all the time to uh, 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 inappropriate uh, materials, uh, which is damaging. Uh, the damage can be pretty much sustained because they, they can absorb it every day if they want to. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they are being forced to absorb it. So this is the thing that the whole society must come up with, uh, with a creative uh, way. Uh, on the one side to, to provide an e a white and clean and safe ecosystem as, as you have suggested. Uh, but on the other hand, make sure that uh, it's an ecosystem where they can innovate. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you one more thing about funding because uh, we did see the prevalence of the incidence of cyberbullying in order to help stop research like this would actually be a great way to tell us you know uh, know where and how to start. So in terms of funding uh, for research in academic institutions how is the ministry helping in this area? Uh, <clears throat> well first of all many ministries can, can uh, come forward to help in this matter. Uh, Ministry of Public Health mm -hmm. can help in terms of the uh, uh, psych psychiatric uh, uh, help. Ministry of Education can help in terms of school curriculum and so on. Okay. As for uh, Ministry of Digital, we have a digital fund. Uh, and this digital fund uh, would be uh, very flexible, uh, not only to fund hardware infrastructure, but also the soft issue as well. So if we can come up with a good proposal, uh, especially a uh, lasting or long-term proposal, then I'm sure that the committee uh, overseeing uh, this uh, fund management, led by the Deputy Prime Minister, Air Chief Marshal Pratin Chan Tong, would be more than delighted to support through this digital fund. All right. Thank you, Minister. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.